Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Annie J and today I am just going to give a very quick update to my PMDD sisters to let you guys know how I've been getting on with the condition. If you want to know more, stay tuned. <laughs> So PMDD for me for the past I would say two months has actually been pretty fine <laughs> and it feels so weird to say that if I'm completely honest because of how debilitating the condition can be but if you've watched a lot of my PMDD videos you'll find that there's a lot of different things that I have recommended things that I actually do myself which really do help manage the symptoms of the condition the symptoms are what can be very debilitating whether it's like extreme fatigue the emotional symptoms you can go from low to high depression to anxiety you can end up oversleeping not sleeping enough become very irritable short fused easily angered quick temper there are just so many symptoms to this condition that can be very very overwhelming and daunting however because of all the things that i do working out watching what i eat diving into my hobbies and the things that i enjoy doing socializing keeping myself distracted at worst it has felt like pms which is a lot more manageable obviously it has its sounds but compared to pmdd it feels like a walk in the park if I'm completely honest with you because PMDD is so severe. I feel like I've really been getting on with things with work, with my social life. The weather's been good, obviously that helps. I've been getting my sleeping, working out three to four times a week, minimizing on the salt and sugar and increasing on the vegetables, the fruits, the fiber, all the good nutritional food that my body needs. And it has been making such a difference for me. With the PMDD, I find that if my mind is focused on it, that my symptoms just seem to get worse. But when I'm not focusing on it, when I'm not giving it all of my attention, when I'm spreading myself out and doing things that I enjoy, things that help to alleviate the symptoms that take my mind off it you know the working out increases the endorphins the nutritional changes that i've made in terms of my diet that affects how i feel because it doesn't take a rocket scientist to tell us that salt and sugar have a negative effect on us so when you minimize things like that it does help your symptoms overall i am in a good place ladies and i am hoping that you are and if not don't worry because you can definitely get there. Remember, we are not like everybody else. We have to go the extra mile. Unfortunately, it is frustrating. Why do we have to do so much? However, the more we do, the less of a hold the condition has over our lives. And I am going to believe that you do value yourself. You value your life, your relationships, your work, the things in life that you love. The sacrifices that we make to help manage the condition, it is definitely worth it. And I cannot say that enough. It just takes us going a little bit of an extra mile. And if we do that, trust me, you're going to see changes. You're going to see a difference in how the condition affects you. And it's going to less and lesson I did not think that that was actually possible when I was dealing with PMDD years ago but because I've dealt with it for so long and I've had such a long time to navigate and find different things to figure it out to help I've really been able to now combine everything and for the better because now I am in such a better positive headspace because of it don't succumb to the thoughts that will go through your mind suicidal thinking the depressive thinking it is just the state of your mind at that point because of your brain's sensitivity to the change in the imbalances in your hormones it is not who you are remember who you actually are when you're going through the condition remember the type of woman that you are remember what you're able to achieve remember the people that love you the people that you love remember the job that you have or the business that you run remember all of that you are a formidable person so don't let this condition get the better of you this is literally just to encourage you again that's all i ever do with my pmdd related videos and you may be someone that has just found out that you've been dealing with the condition some women suffer from the condition for years and have absolutely no idea they get missed 
diagnosed and actually they're suffering from premenstrual dysphoric disorder the mistakes that you may have made as a result of the condition rash decisions i've made a whole video about that doing things off a whim because of how you're feeling at that point in time don't judge yourself for it don't beat yourself up for it it is about trying to effectively deal with the condition so it doesn't overtake your life you can take control back of your life and trust me i I'm a living testimony that it can be done. I know this condition, it is awful, but life can be meaningful. So just don't forget that. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will provide another update soon. And if there is anything else that I come across that I feel really also helps the condition, I will share it because the more we bombard it, the less it's going to affect us. It's your girl Miss Annie J guys. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.